Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Kazakh Shalom to the whole full elect. It's your brothers Raya Allah down here at the GMS Virginia camp. Back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is going to be a part two, okay, impromptu, uh, going into uh, St. John 10 and 16. Okay, these are other precepts, you know, to prove, okay, that those uh, Israelite foreigners, those uh, quote-unquote Gentiles, all right, are uh, of the nation of Israel, man, okay, of the nation of Israel. Matter of fact, before I get 1 Corinthians 10, I want to get the book of, uh, this book of St. John, chapter 7, and um, I'll read at verse 30, let's see. I read at verse 33. It says, Then said Yahweh shine unto them, Yet a little while while I am with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, thither ye cannot come. Verse 35. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go, that he shall not find that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? See, look, that's the key point. You have to read it slowly. It says, Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles. Now, who are the dispersed? Okay, let's go into that word uh, dispersed in the interlinear concordance. Okay, and you have the word, uh, the Greek word diaspora, right? It says a scattering dispersion of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. It says of Christians scattered abroad among the Gentiles. Yeah, because yeah, we were scattered. You go uh, to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, right? It goes all the way back to the curses, man. How the Lord would uh, scatter us among the heathen, man. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28. And I believe it's in, uh, let me see. So lucky, bear with me. Just moving off the spirit, a little willing. And I'll uh, be able to find it, um. Okay, come. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse uh, 64. And it reads, it says, And the Lord, Yahweh by Shai, shall scatter thee, scatter thee among all people, right? The meaning all nations, all the nations that are under heaven. Because when you read Acts, uh, the second chapter, it says, uh, Jews devout men under every, under every uh, nation under heaven, man. Okay? Aren't we under heaven? You know? So we, the Israelites were scattered amongst all nations, man. All right? And this is why we can't tell. You know, who's an Israelite and who's not, you know, unless we uh, try the spirit, man. We can't just look at our, our, our appearance, man. You know, it's all about the spirit because Romans 8 and 16 says, The spirit bears witness with our spirit that we're the children of Yahweh Shemi Shai. So if you're able to uh, resonate with these scriptures, if you're able to believe on the prophecies and believing on Yahweh Shemi Shai, then you are an uh, Israelite, man. You are a believer, okay? And you very well may baby could be a prophet man if you're willing to teach and go on our highways and byways and feed the lord's sheep man all right so continuing on it says the lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other year because we're scattered throughout the four corners of the planet earth it says and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone yet our fathers didn't know about these you know certain gods that our people serve today man okay yeah, the, we're, we're serving uh, uh, other gods, you know, and I'm, when I say we, I'm talking about the nation of Israel as a whole, man. They have completely went off, man, you know. But what? The Lord is gathering his uh, uh, leg now. Let's get, uh, let's go back to St. John. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah 23, verse 2, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, 
power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, save the Lord power. I will gather the remnant, right, the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them, and I will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. Yeah, so the Lord is, is bringing us back in, in, into that fold, man. You know, the sheep of this fold, okay? So the Lord is gathering all 12 tribes of Israel throughout the four corners of the planet Earth, all right? And that's why when you go back to St. John, uh, St. John, the book of St. John, chapter 7, in verse 35, we'll finish it off. It says, Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? Meaning, are you going to go against the dispersed? You're going to go to the Israelites, okay, that are dispersed amongst the Gentiles, right? Teach them, and then you're going to teach these other heathens, right? And then it says, verse 36, What manner of saying is this that he said, Ye shall seek me and shall not find me? And where I am, thither you cannot come. It says, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahweh I stood and crying, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and, and drink. And he that believe on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yeah, believe in, meaning have faith. Okay, you have received the Holy Spirit because you chose to follow Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. But what? Here's the key point. What people don't realize is that the Lord is coming for the elect. Okay, the Lord is not even going to save. Uh, all of Israel on this side. Yeah, all of Israel will be saved eventually, all right? But just like how you had the time of Exodus when the Lord gathered the nation of Israel out of uh, Egypt, okay, he saved all of Israel, all right? And then tried to bring them into the promised land and, and so on and so forth. But at this time, the Lord left a small remnant together to build up the nation of Israel in the kingdom of heaven. And that's when all of Israel will be saved, okay? But only the elect is going to receive that living water. And this is why... We're going to go to the book of Revelation, the 11th chapter, okay? And we're going to start um, at verse uh, 5. It says, Even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Yeah, election of grace, meaning to be chosen, okay? We're in a grace period now, and the Lord is choosing his elect, okay? He's sealing up the elect because it's only a, a small remnant, okay? Compared to how many... Uh, um, People in, in the nation of Israel are going to die, man, okay, due to famine, destruction, okay, pestilence, diseases, all right, and that nuclear fire, man. It says, uh, verse 6, and if by grace, then it is no more of works, otherwise grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace, otherwise work is no more work. Yeah, because we all come and we fall short of the glory of Yahweh Shimei El Shai, man, okay? But what? The Lord is going to pardon the elects. Okay, sins, okay, because he chosen them and ordained them before the uh before the foundations of the earth, man. Okay, so it wasn't of them, man. It was because they were chosen, man. All right, but what the elect they're still gonna, you know, rehearse the righteous acts, they're gonna keep the faith, and they're gonna follow Yahweh Shai wholeheartedly, man. Because when you follow Yahweh Shai, you follow on Yahweh. All right, it says verse seven. What then is the point? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for, and that's that living water. Okay. You got, you got Israel going into these uh, false doctrines, all these different religions and things like that, because they're trying to find the truth. They're trying to find that living water, man. That's what they're seeking for, and you have them, a lot of them bugged out. You see you see these people come up to the camps, man, you know? Or what do we think about this? And they're asking about opinion about this thing or, or that doctrine. No, we're dealing with the scriptures, man. Uh, everything else is vain, man, all right? So it says, what then Israel have not seen? I mean, have not obtained that which he's seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yeah, the election, the chosen ones. Okay, they accepted it, they believe on it, because what is plain unto the uh, holy, man. Okay, the elect are going to get the scriptures, they're not going to, you know, uh, rebel. They're going to just get this work done and, 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 uh, uh, and basically seal themselves with this truth, man. And it says, verse 8, according as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they shall not see, and ears that they shall not hear unto this day. Yeah, because we have a rebellious house, man. So the Lord gave them onto the, these vile spirits, man, because ultimately the Lord wants them to be destroyed, man. He only wants to uh, save his elect, the apple of his eye. All right. Verse 9, it says, And David saith, Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. Yeah, because you had those two-third niggas, okay, 
that 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 wanted uh Yahweh Shai crucified, man. You think the Lord is coming to save them niggas? All right, the ones who didn't accept the Lord's uh Yahweh Shai's word when he was here walking the earth, the ones that want to scoff and say we have no other king but Caesar. Okay, let his blood be upon our children's man. All right, these same niggas, man, is going to receive that judgment again, man. All right. So it says, uh, verse 11, I say, then have they stumbled that they should fall? Yahweh forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. All right. And to provoke them for jealousy, that's going into the, the, the time of the uh, Acts. OK. OK. Around the, uh, the, the Pentecost. And you had uh, the, uh, the whole controversy between uh, Paul and, and Peter about the uh, circumcised and the uncircumcised. OK. The Gentiles is talking about the, the uncircumcised Jews, the ones who weren't cultivated into this truth. The ones who weren't in the Holy Land, man. Okay, the ones who didn't know about having to come up, you know, to Jerusalem three times a year, man. Okay, the ones who weren't actually physically circumcised on the foreskin, and they weren't circumcised in the uh in their heart, man. But what? But through grace and, and, and through faith, the Lord has sent Apostle Paul to go unto them, man. Okay, and, and teach them, man. All right, and uh and just to prove that, we're gonna get the Book of Corinthians, so I can get the Book of uh, Corinthians. First Corinthians uh, chapter 10, because, OK, if they weren't, you know, Israel, why would Apostle Paul be explaining the, the history of Israel? Apostle Paul, he always went into the law. He was always quoting from the uh, Old Testament, man, you know. So people like to use Paul and say, oh, he went into the Gentiles, not even realizing that those Gentiles are, are Israelites. There's two different types of Gentiles. You have the, 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 the diaspora, OK, the dispersion of Israelites among the Gentiles. And then you have the actual heathens that is outside of the nation of Israel. Okay, and the Lord had made that separation, man. Okay, because all you got to read is Deuteronomy 32nd uh, chapter and around verse uh, 7 on down, man. All right, so this is 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I will not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers, right? So that's a possessive noun, our father. Who's our fathers, man? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, right? King David, okay? Jeroboam, Rehoboam, you know, all the kings all in the book of Chronicles and kings. Okay, uh, Job, you know, so on and so forth, man. All right. It says uh, Moses, man. It says how that all our fathers were under the cloud and passed through the sea. Okay. And this is talking about the Exodus, man. Talking about how the Lord gathered the nation of Israel out of Egypt. Okay. We passed through that Red Sea. It says verse two, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat. Why would why would Apostle Paul be explaining this history to the Gentiles if they weren't their fathers? You know, you're not going to go and explain your 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 uh your family history to to a stranger, man. They're going to look at you like you're crazy. Like, what, what? OK, why are you telling me? What does this have to do with me? Those ain't my fathers. That ain't my family. You know, so th this is a, a, a clean cut to you Christians to show that the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel. And Apostle Paul was only teaching to the nation of Israel, man. OK, that was scattered across these uh churches, man. Okay, you had a uh, church in uh, uh, Pergamos, Thyatira, uh, Corinth, uh, Ephesus, okay, uh, Rome, okay, Greece, okay, all these different places where the nation of Israel was scattered, man, okay, and Apostle Paul was literally confronting these churches and telling them about the, the good news of, of Yasharala, the kingdom uh, to come, man, and how Yahweh Shai is coming back, okay, it says verse 3, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Hamashiach. Yeah, because if you can receive it, that was Yahweh Shai in that chariot, man. That so-called UFO leading the nation of Israel to the promised land through that Red Sea, man. Okay? It says, but with many of them, Yahweh was not pleased, was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Yeah, you had those two-third niggas that wanted to be rebellious, and they got overthrown in the wilderness. They got uh, killed off, man. Okay, but the Lord is not going to do it at this time, man. The Lord is going to make a straight cut now on this side. He's just going to gather elect, and then those two-thirds, they're going to have to come through the loins of the elect, man. Okay? Through the uh, the through the uh, governing body, man, and then the innumerable multitude, which we're going to get into. Now, let's go back um, to Romans, the 11th chapter. Okay? It says, verse uh, 11, I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? Yahweh forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world and it diminish of them, the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? 
For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office. And just remember, man, don't get caught up on the face value of these scriptures when you read the uh, word Gentiles, man. If anything that pertains to salvation, okay, and it says the word Gentiles or heathen, okay, that's talking about the nation of Israel because we became heathens. We became Gentiles, okay, when we committed spiritual fornication. We went outside the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh All you got to do is uh, read Baruch 4 and 1. It said, all, 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 uh, this is the book of life, keep the commandments. And when you go outside of that, you go into death. You become a goddamn heathen, man. It says, for I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh and might save some of them. Yeah, of, are of my flesh. Romans, the ninth chapter, of my flesh, flesh my kinsmen, my kindred. Who are Israelites pertaining to the adoption? Why did the nation of Israel need to be adopted, man? Because we were cast off from going in into our wicked ways, man. And the Lord is bringing us back. Okay, we're getting, we're uh, receiving that reconciliation through His blood. It says, verse five, and, and that's the Spirit. It says, for if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall be? What shall the receiving of them be? But life from the dead. For if the first fruit be holy the lump or is also holy yeah the first fruits the elect okay so if they're going to be holy hey man the, the lump is going to be ho holy as well okay okay the ones that's going to come after them okay because they're coming through a righteous sea line it says for the first fruit be holy the lump is also holy and if the root be holy so are the branches and who's the root yeah how is shy man okay and we're the branches it says and if some of the branches be broken off yeah because you had a lot of uh uh, of Israel being broken off. Why, man? Because what? They want to go into those, those, uh, those, um, those heathenistic ways, man. So they were broken off. And it says, and thou being a wild olive tree, were grafted in amongst them. Right. Uh, a wild uh, olive tree, man. Okay. The Lord likened the nation of Israel as an olive tree. Let's get that real quick. A little brand. This is the book, the book of Jeremiah 11 and verse 16 says, The Lord called thy name a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit with the noise of the great tumult. He have kindled fire upon it and the branches of it are broken. Yeah, they were broken off, man. The Lord set a fire. Why? Because we were a, a rebellious house, man. But the Lord called us a, a olive tree, man. Okay. Trees of, of, of righteousness, man. All right. So uh, going back on, you know, and that was just to, you know, prove that the nation of Israel is an olive tree. Now, say, for instance, you got an olive tree branch that's been broken off. You're not going to put a peach tree or apple tree on that olive tree because what is it's, it's the, the, the scriptures speak about mixing of the seeds. That's that's uh that's that's a, a transgression of the law. We ain't supposed to be mixing seeds, man. OK, you put a damn peach tree on an olive tree. What You don't know what the hell is going to come up, man. You know, some uh, uh hybrid or whatever the case that Esau like to do, man. Okay, and that's ultimately why with his science and his uh, philosophies, he's able to deceive the minds of the people, gotten them thinking that they are Israel, how, oh, they're 5% this, or they're 10% Indian, or 35% black, and, you know, all that confusion. No, you, you, you come after the pedigree of your fathers, man. Okay, so if your father was a so-called black man, a so-called Negro, okay, and you come out of the seed of him, you're a so-called Negro, man. If you, if you plant a damn... Uh, uh, apple tree and it grows in China. It's not going to be a Chinese apple tree. It's just going to be a goddamn apple tree, man. Okay, and it's going to bring forth apples. The same as the olive tree, man. Okay, the olive tree is the nation of Israel. All right, so if if the olives ha have the seeds and they bear the seed and it becomes an olive, those Israelites in that same like manner are going to become Israelites, man. Okay, because they come from the seed of the Israelites. It says, and if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, yeah, you want the be a, a nigga, okay? You want to uh basically uh follow the ways and either whether through your uh, woman or whatever the case may be. You didn't you want to eat shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster, you want to get lineups and edge ups and all these different things. You became a wild olive tree, man. It says, and thou being a wild olive tree were grafted in amongst them and with them partakers of the root and the fatness of the olive tree. Yeah, so we take part of the root, meaning we grabbed on, we we uh we held on to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? 
And it says, verse 18, boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Yeah, because we're not going to boast about the works that we're doing now. And, oh, I'm an Israelite. Oh, I'm this and that. There. Well, there's nothing to boast about, man. Okay? Because you don't know if you're the elect. So you need to endure and, and humble down, man. Be glad that the Lord had mercy upon you for you to receive this knowledge, man. Because what? It says, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Yeah. What a, or St. John the 15th chapter said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, man. So there's nothing to boast about, man. Okay? It says, verse 19, thou will say then the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Yeah, and that's and it's twofold because you will have a you have a, a lot of men before us that were great men, but what they fell off. You know they were called, but they fell off. And now that that seat uh or or those uh slots are opened up, the Lord has brought more men into the truth. So you may take that oh well, they fell off, they ain't the elect. So now the Lord dealing with me now. No, that, that you shouldn't boast about that, man. Just be glad that you're here and 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 pray that the Yahweh Shimon shall keep the spirit on you that you don't. Fall into that same category, man, where you, uh, when you, uh, basically came into this truth and then you fell off going into that, that sower parable, man. You know, you started to get choked up by the cares of this life. It says, uh, verse 20, well, because of the unbelief, they were broken off. Yeah. And thou standest by faith, be not high minded, but fear. Yeah. So exactly what I was going into, man. Be humble. Don't be high minded and proud because what are the scriptures say? When a man thinking himself of something, he is nothing. Okay. Verse 21, for if the most high spare not the natural branches, take heed also spare not the year. Okay? Meaning the 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 the, uh, the circumcised, the ones who grew up in the land, the ones who, you know, kept the laws and everything like that. But what? The ones who keep the laws, they don't think that they need Yahweh Shai, man. They push that law, law, law stuff. And the Lord ain't, ain't spare them. Okay? But what? Hey, you got to take heed as well because he may not spare you at all because the Lord is no respect of persons, man. Yeah, he has his elect. But hey, man. If you ain't doing the will of y'all about you outside, he's going to spew you out of his mouth. It says, verse 22, Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of the Most High on them which is which fail, severity but towards thee, goodness. If thou continue in his goodness, otherwise also shalt be cut off. Yeah. So we got to continue to do this work. We got to continue to have faith in Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Okay. Concerning all the, uh, the, the nation of Israel, man. You know, but only the elect is going to do it anyway. So, hey. The elect ain't going to get cut off, man. Okay? And verse uh, 23. And they also, if they buy not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in. For the Most High is able to graft them in again. Okay? And they're going to be grafted in, in in the kingdom, man. It says, verse 24. For thou were cut off the olive tree, which is by wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to the nature into a good olive tree, how much, how much more shall these be, the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? Yeah. So... For instance, man, okay, if you were if you were a part of Israel or whatever the case may be, and and you didn't know uh, uh, about it, okay, but then the Lord had mercy upon you and brought you into this knowledge, the Lord can easily graft you in, man. The Lord can easily, the Lord can raise up stones if He wanted to, man. He doesn't need the nation of Israel, all right. So, hey, the Lord Yahweh Shai, He has mercy upon who He has mercy on, man. Right now, He's gonna have mercy on the elect. Okay, and they're going to be grafted in into this uh, olive branch, I mean olive tree. It says, verse 25, for I will not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. Yeah, because it's a mystery. Not everybody's going to receive the fact that what? Those quote-unquote Gentiles are only the nation of Israel. All right? It says, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits. Right. Being deceived by your own heart. It says that the blindness is, the blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Yeah. So you got a, a lot of Israelites that are blind. They can't see this, man, because they don't have the spiritual eyes out, man. Okay? Verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. So how is all Israel going to be saved, man? In the kingdom, man. Salvation. When we're going to enter into the, the the new covenant. It says, There shall come out of Zion the deliverer, Yahweh Shai, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Right? All the transgressions and sins. Hey, the Lord is going to pardon us for that, man. It says, for this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins, right? The everlasting king, Jeremiah 31 and uh, 31, Hebrews 8 and 8. It says, as concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake, but as touching the election, they are our beloved for the father's sakes, okay? For the gifts and calling of Yahweh are without repentance, right? So, hey, that's a, that's a clear clip, okay? The Lord says he's going to bring a, a deliverer. In Zion, man, which is uh, Tezayawan in the Hebrew, which means monument for Israel, man. So the Lord is only bringing deliverance to the nation of Israel. Now, I want to get this last precept, okay? This is the uh, 
Matter of fact, matter of fact, let me get this real quick and then I'll get it. Uh, this is St. John chapter 15 and verse 3. It says, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, and no more can ye, except ye abide in me. So as long as you abide in Yahweh Shem Yashad, you're going to bring forth fruit, man. You're going to be grafted in. It says, verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Which is that nuclear fire, man. So if you ain't going to abide in Yahweh, all right, we'll just, just bring hither and slay them before me, man. You're going to be put to death, or you're going to be put in that uh, that fire, man. All right? So, hey, it's either abide in Yahweh, all right, get down with the get down. Okay, receive this word in truth, and go out and teach, and do what is commanded of you, man. And you're going to be straight. The Lord Yahweh, all right, is going to be with you, man. All right? Now, uh, reading uh, Revelation, the 7th chapter, okay, this is concerning uh, the uh, the Lord's multitude, right? So this is uh, Revelation 7 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the tree, nor on the sea, nor any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. He cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Right. Concerning the elation of uh, Israel, okay? Those righteous trees, man. Okay? Those olive trees. Okay? Until they be sealed. Okay? Being sealed with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Okay? When you read Isaiah, the, uh, the ninth chapter, man. Or Ezekiel 9, Salakia. Where it talks about the Tawa, the exempt from judgment, that mark. Okay, set upon the the the, uh, the children of Israel that sigh and cry in the midst of Babylon. It says, verse uh, four, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four of thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Yeah, so that hundred and forty-four thousand, man, twelve tribe, twelve thousand out of each tribe, and it literally goes down. Okay, uh, of everyone from each tribe, man. So that's the like, that's the governing body who the Lord is coming to redeem. But what? He's not just going to redeem uh, the men. He's going to redeem the innumerable multitude, which consists of what? He's going to read it. Verse 9. It says, In this I behold and lo, a great multitude, okay, which no man can number. So we don't know how 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 great this multitude is because it says no man can number, man. So we don't know. All right? And this is why it says work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man, because we don't know who the elect is. And that's the beautiful thing about it. But what? When Yahweh Shai comes with the angels, he's going to separate the wheat from the tares, all right, and gather up the elect. Okay, and the rest are going to be put into that fire. It says, which no man can number of all the nations and kindreds and people. Yeah, the Israelites that are scattered. Okay, we're scattered abroad, man. There's so many of us out here, man. How can you, you know, you can't number the, the nation of Israel, man. Okay, Israel is a saw of the earth, man. Okay, it says, my heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. So we're going to look like all the other nations as well, man. We're going to speak different tongues and so on and so forth, being from different parts of the lands. So, hey, man. It's a large and normal multitude, man. Okay? It says, Still before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hand. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power which sit upon the throne and unto the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai. Right? Because what, man? The, 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 the large uh, uh, multitude, that great multitude is men, women, and children, the believers, man. Okay? Because the 144,000, those slots are for the, the men that are teaching, okay? The prophets. Okay, the ones who are going to be kings and priests, and yeah, all of Israel are going to be king, but those are going to be the, the cream of the crop, man, the top of the top, the elite, okay, of the nation of Israel. It says, um, in verse 11, And all the angels stood round about the throne, and about the elders and the four beasts, and fell before the throne in their faces, and worshipped Yahweh, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving, and honor and power and might be unto our power forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and which came there? Yeah, because it's the same vision that Ezra saw in the second chapter, man. Ezra's, uh, second Ezra 2, okay? How they were being uh, put on that immortality, man. Getting the, the, the white clothes, that, that white stone, okay? Which means uh, purity, okay? Immortality. It says, verse 14, And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Yeah, so they abided in Yahweh Shimei Shai. Okay, they kept the commandments to the best of their abilities, man, and they endured through all the tribulation that came upon the earth, man. Okay, they didn't take the MOTB. Okay, 
they, they gave up everything, okay, and denied their cross and served Yahweh by Shimon Shai, and the Lord redeemed them and found them worthy, all right? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Kazakh Shalom to the whole folet. Call me Yasharala and Shalom.